Hey everybody, it's Matt from Junior Horror Movies, and welcome to another end of the month update slash haul. Uh, pretty much, uh, this is the month for August. Started off kind of slow, but it picked right up. I was kind of shocked on how what I got over here. <laughs> yeah, so big piles of films to show off. So what I'll do is I'll do the DVDs first, and then pie in a part two, I will do the Blu-rays. First Blu-rays will be upgrades, second will be regular Blu-rays that I picked up or was given and all that shit. Alright, without further ado, we'll get on with the DVDs. First off, right at the beginning of the month, this was supposed to come in in last month's update, but Full Moon took forever to send me their stuff. So finally, I got uh, Horror Vision. Uh, from Full Moon because they're having a sale. Like all DVDs were seven bucks, all Blu-rays I think were twelve. Plus you get a free one. So I picked up Horror Vision and this one film called Birthright. I saw this in a compilation from uh, when Monsters Go Wild. There was a funny scene where a girl's getting sucked through a toilet, and then she another girl gets her arms ripped off and then she explodes. Come to find out it's this film called Birthright. It's kind of like a witchy type film. I said, what the hell, why not? For seven bucks, I'll check it out. This looks pretty funny. Just a cover art looks pretty weird. And of course, the free one is a documentary called uh, Kings of Cult with Roger Corman and Charles Band. What it is, if you bought some stuff during the sale, no matter what, uh, they, give it to, they give this to you free. So this was a pretty cool little documentary interview. Uh, set up, so I was finally happy to get this. Just came a month late. Oh well, what can you do? Uh, next are some dollar film DVDs I bought from uh, uh, B Movie website and uh, SRS Cinema. There, uh, the first one for a dollar was Blood Punch. I've been hearing really good things about this movie. It's kind of like uh, Groundhog's Day meets a horror film, so. I still got this one to watch, but I heard I heard really good things about it. Again, for a dollar, can't beat it. Uh, second one for a dollar is House of Horrors: The Gates to Hell. I don't know this just looked really weird and fun. Like I said, for a dollar, why not? If it sucks so well, but the cover art looks pretty cool. It's like someone's getting swallowed into a uh, fun house. Uh, next for a dollar was kind of like a documentary. Uh, John Russo's filmmaking seminar uh, <clears throat> film class from the writer Land of the Living Dead. I still gotta get this one to watch. It looks pretty cool. You know, John Russo did Land of the Living Dead, though he was one of the writers. So I kind of like some of his stuff. So why not? A little filmmaking seminar. Kind of fun to sit through. Almost like a classroom without any homework. And last for the dollars is a uh, Witches. Vampires and Zombies. This is like a horror documentary. John Russo, I swear to God, he's in a ton of this shit for horror documentaries. I have one called Zombie Jamboree, and he's in that too. So he does a lot of documentaries and documentary work. So again, for a dollar, why not? Be kind of cool to uh, check it out. Love my horror docs. Alright, next is a multi-pack. I was talking with the guys, uh, movie guy 666, uh, Derek, DeBougie 86, Retro Slasher Andy, and Mood 616. And uh, I guess this one movie pack was going for an insane amount of money on eBay. That's a 10 movie pack because of one film called Home for the Holidays. So I'm in Walmart and I actually found a 20 pack that actually has Home for the Holidays right there. And uh, for seven bucks. So I said, you know what? There's only a couple left. So I picked one up. I heard this is a rare film from 1970s. I think it's 1971 or 72. And it's got Sally Fields in it, Jessica Walter, so Julie Harris. So I heard it's a pretty good flick. So good old Mill Creek puts this <clears throat> multi packs out. And of course, Never heard of the rest of these movies. They're probably all low-budget crap, but 
Again, for seven bucks, you get a for twenty movies, and I guess it's a rare one. Why not? Did it before when curtains was out on these rare packs. You would always get curtains in a uh, a multi pack, and then all of a sudden, here comes the Blu-ray. Guess what? There goes the multi pack. So why not? Seven bucks. <clears throat> Found out I didn't have this Godzilla movie in my collection. I was shocked. I think I'm missing a couple more in their DVDs, and that is. Mothra vs. Godzilla, also known as Godzilla vs. The Thing. Uh, again, I, was, I looked and realized, oh, I don't have this one. I think I'm missing uh, just the regular King Ghidorah DVD. And there is one more. I forgot the name of it. I had to take a look. Uh, I think it's Godzilla vs. Monster X, I think is the name. I'm missing. But glad to have it in the collection. Ooh, wow. <clears throat> Uh, I finally picked up uh, Teristas. I <laughs> bought this at FYE for three bucks used. It was brand new, all sealed, and everything was wrapped around. I saw this in the theater with my wife. It's pretty much a bunch of kids going on a holiday, and of course they're getting kind of like picked off in a organ harvesting operation. Pretty cool. The one thing I hate about this is. The double-sided DVDs. I hate the double-sided DVDs. It drives me nuts. And of course, when I opened it up, it was loose, so it wasn't in the actual container. So probably one side is scratched, and my luck will be the widescreen. Oh, uh, what can you do? <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Uh, next I picked up was Clash of the Dead. This is a uh, found footage zombie film. The zombies are World War One zombies. It was pretty cool. I actually didn't mind it. Uh, they're on a, uh, a historian and his film crew are doing a shoot in this abandoned field where this bloody war occurred in World War One. They find some old bunkers. They find everything, and all of a sudden these zombies are coming out from the grave. Supposedly someone was warning them, but they were speaking a different language, so they had no clue. So therefore, they just ignore the warnings, and of course, the zombies take them out one at a time. Pretty cool flick, Clash of the Dead. Uh, next, kind of a kids horror film uh, from R.L. Stein, and I was kind of shocked to see that Tobin Bell was in this, and that is R.L. Stein's The Haunting Hour movie. Don't think about it. It's actually a creature feature, and this creature feature is actually all practical effects. All puppetry, all giant rubber monster. I was kind of shocked. And for a kind of a teen kids movie, it wasn't bad. The little kid here was annoying. But other than that, the rest of the, the show was pretty good. And again, Tobin Bell's in this. He plays the uh, shop owner who sells the girl this book, uh, The Evil Thing. And of course, does she pay attention to the rules? No. Because there's specific rules to the book. But actually, it wasn't bad. So if you like Goosebumps, you'll probably like this one. I don't care, it's three bucks. <laughs> and it was brand new for three. Uh, next I found in the bargain bin, uh, Argento's uh, Trauma. This is the old Anchor Bay Edition one. I had to grab it. I've seen the, uh, I think it's the full moon version of Trauma. Where it's the Grindhouse edition or whatever edition it is. Never picked it up. But I found this edition. And uh, I'm like, I don't own this one. Why not? Of course, I love the old Anchor Bays. That little sailboat always gets me. Still have to watch it. Also for DVDs, I found this for dirt cheap. It's an Asian anime called uh, WX13. Uh, Pat, uh, Pat Loader... Number three. Now, I was reading about it. I'm going, oh, is this a giant monster flick? What the hell is this? It was for three bucks brand new. And uh, after watching it, it's actually a, a part three out of a trilogy. And the first two films had to do with, like, political shit, shit and giant mech robots. This one actually deals with a giant monster made in a lab that's made from cancer cells. And these cancer cells develop this monster that pretty much attacks people and eats them. 
It's got some animated, well, it's an animated movie, but it's got some blood to it. There's dead bodies all over the place. And then it starts to go nowhere fast. Like, it's just boring, all talking. Then they get with the monster for a bit. Then it's more talking and shit going on. And I guess that uh, it uses some of the people from the first two movies as kind of like a sub-character. So your big people from the first two are only in this movie for a little bit. But I actually liked it. It was a pretty cool flick. Um, again, I wish they did more with the monster. When the monster happens, shit happens. When there's no monster, nothing really happens. So I wish more shit did go on with that. All right, more with DVDs. Finally got uh, Halfway House. I remember Terror for Tom. I showed this in his update in his collection, and I was very intrigued on it. <laughs> this movie's hysterical. Practical effects. I did a review on this on Body Bags. Highly recommend it if you love horror films. Got a lot of nudity, um, a lot of lesbian scenes, some cool shit going on. The monster, again, is all practical effects. Pretty cool flick, guys. Check out the Halfway House. From Wild Eye sent me over Sharkenstein. I did a review on this. It's actually not bad. The same guy that did uh, Queen Crab also did this one. And Mark Polonia is involved in this film as well. The Polonia Brothers. Well, fortunately not just one. But he is involved in this film. He is mostly he is the director. And you have like some of the actors from Queen Crab in here. They use a couple scenes from Queen, Queen Crab. Uh, the, dinos the dinosaur. The shark is all practical. <clears throat> All stop motion puppetry and everything. It is cheesy and it actually takes a shark movie and puts it into a Frankenstein type film where it got the angry villagers, uh, <laughs> a lot of weird shit going on. It actually wasn't bad. Check out Sharkenstein. I love the cover art. All right, let's get some more DVDs here. Yeah, this is going to be a two parter. Next, I picked up <clears throat> is Thirst. I actually like this film. Um, I know some people probably didn't like it as much. It was I thought the CGI was okay. I know during the nighttime shot was awesome. The during the day shot, you can definitely tell there's some CGI going on. But it's a cool little creature feature. I kind of liked how it played out and the story. Uh, next, let's see, picked up a uh, warning from space. I guess this is another kaiju type film. I know you can get this in other multi-packs and everything, but I wanted this in a standalone movie. Just at having that giant starfish with the eye right there. So it's to come down and warn people about natural disaster happening. But yeah, warning from space. Cool shit. Most Likely to Die. This is a slasher film that came out uh, several weeks ago, I think it is. It's actually not bad. It's a graduation type themed slasher. Almost a little bit like uh, Slaughter High, but not really. Where you have a bunch of people that played cruel pranks. And the guy, the person supposedly come back as getting revenge on them. The way they were in, co in high school. Uh, you had the jock. You had the class clown. The girl that wanted everything. Uh, all weird shit going on. Some cool kills. Unfortunately, uh, Perez Hilton... He was kind of annoying in the movie, but after you get past him, it was all right. <clears throat> Next I picked up is, yes, In the Deep. Now, it was kind of weird about this movie. Uh, it got recalled. Uh, what happened was, with the shadows that did so well in the theater, they recalled In the Deep and took them all off the shelves everywhere. And then all of a sudden they said, you know what? We're going to re-put it on the theater. If The Shallows did so well, this movie is going to be do so well. Uh, it's also going to be called 24 Meters Down, I think it's going to be called. So they're going to rename it and everything. So I was just very happy because I usually see a shark film. I'm like, you know what, let me just grab it. Or, or um, I might say I'll hold off. But this is a good time that I actually grabbed this film because it's out of print. Uh, probably when it gets re-released again. It's going to be re-released as 24 meters down. So, I don't care. I got it as in the deep. It was only put out on DVD that I know of. 
I don't think there was a Blu-ray of it, but I'm very happy to own this shark film. Not bad film, too. Next I grabbed the original Day of the Triffids. Finally having this in my collection. Great little classic uh, killer plant outer space flick. A lot of fun. Some films from a uh, let's see, antique store. Picked up the King Kong from the 1970s with Jeff Bridges and Jessica Lange. Finally having that one in the collection. Another King Kong film that I don't own. And I'm very happy to own, finally, is the original Mangler. Oh my god. I've been after this film for a while. And it was going for some high prices. And of course, as soon as I buy it for two bucks, I go on Amazon and you can get it for like eight bucks or not. I actually really enjoyed this film. Uh, the cop was from uh, Silence of the Lambs. He got Robert England in it. <laughs> this character is kind of like a, a weird uh, old dude with metal legs and everything. It's just fucking weird, but... Wasn't bad. I actually like The Mangler. The second one, not so good. The third one was just awful, but I'm very happy to own the first movie. Next is Dead Meat. This is a Irish zombie film. Wow, this is really good. Um, I bought this one because I've heard we're doing a top 10 Irish horror coming up down the road. And I've read about it, so I'm like, meh, I'm missing the film. Let me buy this one. It was cheap awesome it's about uh rabbit cow uh mad cow disease a <laughs> crazy cow bites a farmer and eats him and he turns him into a zombie and then that's how it spreads through mad cow disease it's a low budget but the whole town like helped out everyone helped out in this film if you've never seen this one highly highly recommend it cool little uh zombie flick and last for the dvds is Androids, Aliens, and the Fountain of Youth. This is a sci-fi movie marathon, mostly made up of uh, made-for-TV movies. I think Terror for Time had this in one of his updates. I was actually after um, it came from Outer Space 2. I remember seeing that on TV and uh, when I was a kid. And this is, like, I think the only way to get it. And it comes with uh, the Android Affair, came from Outer Space 2, Deep Red, which is a different type of sci-fi film, Evolution's Child, Night Visitors, and Control Factor. So, and this one is a multiple disc one. You have a couple of films on two and two, and this was like five bucks for a lot of films. So, very happy to pick this one up finally. Yeah, that is the DVDs, guys. I know. All right, let me uh, stop this video, upload it, and I'm going to work on part two, the Blu-rays. Thanks, guys. Have yourself a good night. Peace.